Hello everyone. Um, so I was having a look through some old um, photo albums around at my parents and um, I came across a few pictures of my old cars from back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s and um, I just thought I'd um, share these with you and just um, just do a little commentary as to, as to what they are and um, yeah, where, where I raced and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, my memory is failing me a bit as to the order that I own these cars. Um, now, my first car was a Tamiya Thunder Dragon. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of that. Uh, next car was uh, a Vanquish. Again, I don't have any pictures of that. And then I think my third car, I think, was the Tamiya Egress, um, which I'll show you a picture of now. Now, I think I bought that car. I just started work at 16. Um, like full time, so I'd actually got, got a bit of money in my pocket, and that just come out. I think maybe the year before. Um, so yeah, so I was able to you know kind of treat myself and, and go like uh, for a sort of top end car. Um, I think then I I think after that I then got into racing. Um, I used to go to Puma Racing Models and Model Shop in Alcester. Comment below if anybody watching used to go there. Um, and I got chatting to them about racing and they recommended I get the Schumacher Cougar. Um, so I'll show you a picture of that. Now, if you see the body shell, I went all out with that body shell. Um, I was obviously buying the magazines at the time. Um, LRP were kind of like the sort of new, fashionable, trendy kind of a brand. Um, you know, uh, Loughton back racing products. Um, and I copied one of the, the, the pictures I saw of one, I think one of the team driver's cars there. And I actually cut out all the little L's, all the little R's and all the little P's and I like, stuck them on that car and like masked it and painted it. Um, so yeah, to try and recreate that. And that was actually pretty good at the time, considering, um, you know, I, I, I was quite young and obviously not been doing uh, the hobby for that long. Um, yeah, and I used to go racing with that car at Alcester Buggy Club. Um, now, the next picture I'll show you is, um, it's me and my, um, I think it's my mum and my sister, um, and it's my dad's Cortina, and we're parked in the, um, on the field next to Alcester Buggy Club, which was at Ragley Hall. Um, and I think on the table I've got my egress, Now I think that might be my second egress because I think I think I sold the Cougar and then went back to four wheel drive racing and got another regress. Um so yeah unfortunately that's kind of one of the only pictures I've got of us of us there. I mean we used to go like you know every other Sunday it was on during the summer. Um I had a brilliant time. Um you know my dad used to come along with me pretty much most of the time. Sometimes I'd go on my own um, you know, when I got my own car when I turned 17, sometimes my parents would, well, my mum would come and my sister would come for a bit of a day out as well. Um, yeah, and we had a lovely time. Now, the next picture is like a, a Greek photo of um, uh, the egress that I, um, I raced at to Old Sister Buggy Club and a top force that I'd bought new in box and built, which is the orange one. And then another top force I bought second hand from the model shop, which had like high caps on it and all the hop ups. This was before the Evolution came out. Um, and I actually, I think I tried racing the top force for a bit. I was going to change from the egress to the top force, but I just, I got a thing about the egress. So it, eventually the two top forces got sold and I went back to the egress. Um, and also in the background of that picture, you can see uh, the Tamiya Bullhead, which was my first. Um, sort of foray into the, the, the you know the massive um, monster truck type cars. The next picture is uh, the Tamiya Juggernaut Juggernaut One. Um, again, uh, a car I wish I'd kept now because um, obviously Juggernauts are really sought after. Um, it was a really cool looking car. Now we'll get on to my little bit of a, a claim to fame and owning a famous car. Um, if, if any of you obviously were you know, around in the uh, early 90s, you'll remember Radio Race Car. Um, and 
you may remember this issue with the Avanti 2001. Now, I'll put up a picture of um, my Avanti 2001 uh, along with my Cougar and the ball head again. Now, my claim to fame is this car on the cover of the magazine is the actual car that I bought. I bought it uh, second hand off a guy called Nick Martin, um, who is actually Nosram uh, Racing and he did all the speed controllers. Um, and it was obviously featured in the magazine. Um, I don't know whether he built it and did the article or whether he just knew someone at the magazine and, and, and he got it off them or, or whatever. Um, you can actually see in the pictures, if I show you this, it does have a, a Nosram Speedo in it. Um, I think we may have actually bought the Speedo off him along with the car. Um, so yeah, so it, it's kind of, it, it's, it's nice that I've had it, but it's also gutting to think that I sold the car, I've got the magazine still, but I sold the car and, you know, obviously the Avanti 2001s, they're, they're quite sought after now. Uh, and to have one that was actually featured in the magazine would be quite cool. But, you know, back at the time, I obviously just wanted to fund buying, you know, something new to, 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 to go racing with and it didn't even cross my mind. Um, but anyway, fingers crossed that there will be a rewe of the Avanti 2001 soon. I don't see why not. You know, there's pretty much all the parts there from the VQS and the Egress. Um, you know, they just need to dig out the old Avanti 2001 body shell mold, mold pretty much and um, make some white white wheels, you know, like the um, Avanti 2011, is it, is it the re -re -re of that, I think? So anyway, I just thought I'd um, share those pictures that I'd found. Um, it's always nice to reminisce about about the past and the good old days. Um, it's kind of one of the one of the reasons I guess we're into, you know, um, vintage radio control. Um, if you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing, uh, please give us a thumbs up and um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.